Hi tech friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be talking about this JS Watch 6 Max. As you see, it has that Galaxy Watch Classic style. Even it has a rotatory bezel, as you see. If I put it next to the microphone, you can hear the click. It comes with some cool features and in this video we will be talking about it. Please don't forget if you find these videos helpful, hit that like button, it will be highly appreciated. And now let me show you what you get in the box. Perfect, here we have it. It comes straight from the viewer store. The link where I got it from, it will be down in the description below. It is the JS Watch 6 Max Classic and this is how the bags will look. You can scan the QR code on the back to download the app. It pairs to Android and iOS devices as well. If we remove the cover, we find this other box right here where you will find the charging cable type A on one side to the charging station on the other. Then we have the smartwatch. And if we remove this right here, we come with the user guide. It comes completely in English. From here, you can scan the QR code again to download the app. Perfect, here we have it. This is how it will look. The rotatory bezel. On the right, we come with two buttons. I think you can see on the top one, we come with that red color all the way on the bottom. If we go on this side, right below the silver chassis, we come with the microphone charging interface and sensors on the back, four screws, two on top, two on bottom, 20 millimeter straps, easy to remove. And on the left, we come with a speaker for calls and media sound. Let's take the measurements real quick. From this angle, we will come with uh, 50.6 millimeters. Now on this other angle, let me show you 49.4 and its thickness will be 12 exactly about its weight 37.1 grams and 54.1 with the straps now can you use original galaxy watch 6 classic straps the answer is yes this is how they will look now i'm not gonna lie to put it on you had to play around a little bit but definitely you will be able to use them to power on the device all you have to do is press the bottom button hold it for a few seconds and there we have the watch face if we turn the bezel like this yes it will switch between all 12 different ones that will offer you by the way between all 12 this is the only one that comes with shortcut something cool it is that if you want that everything you play on your smartphone sound through the smartwatch speaker you just touch on the icon right here but if you touch now you can see it changed to a mobile phone icon so the music will stay on the phone now every single time you turn the bezel you will hear the click but also it can give you vibration feedback if i put it next to the mic you might be able to hear but you can turn off this feature if you want by the way, from the link, I'll leave you down in the description. You can choose between black and the silver that we have right here. Now, from languages, you can turn on this feature right here. Once you pair it to the phone, it will take your smartphone language on the smartwatch. But you can also do it manually. Let me go through them real quick to show you all the ones uh, you will come with. That's it right there. For our video, we will choose English. There we go. You can see how it changed immediately. If you swipe from top to bottom, you will find your shortcuts. From here, you can go straight to the screen settings, turn on or off the dynamic island. This is how it will look. So we don't have no messages right now. But in case you receive a notification, it will tell you new message and you will see the red dot right there. You touch on it and it will take you straight to the notification area. Those that you haven't read will have a red dot. You touch and you will be able to read the content. Now, if we go back, as you see, we don't have the red dot and it says no message. But not only that, if you're playing something on your phone, this is how it will show up. You touch and it will take you straight to the player. Like I said, from here, you will be able to switch from the phone to the smartwatch speaker back and forth. Right now it's on the phone. Now it's on the smartwatch. Of course, you can control the volume from here, even with the bezel. If you swipe this way right away, you can custom the component or widget. If you keep swiping, it will show you the ones you have to see. 
and to the other side, same component, just in different order. Press the tab button, it will take you to the apps menu. You can uh, scroll, turning the bezel like this, or with your finger on the screen, swiping. Press it twice, it will switch between uh, the different styles that will offer you, even open the apps. Let me show you the other ones we can with. That's it right there. Now if you press and hold, it will call the voice assistance. Press the bottom button real quick, it will turn on or off the screen. And if you press and hold, it will be give you this option to power off the device. Now if we go back to the screen settings from here, you can turn on or off the gesture feature, of course, control the brightness, standby dial, you can turn it on and it will give you this other feature right here. Right now, as it is, it will show the pointer just for five seconds and it will turn off. But if you turn this switch on, it will remain on all of the time. Let me show you here real quick. And this is how it will look. So, so remember you had uh, the option to choose if have it on all of the time or just for five seconds and then turn off. About the main screen timing, you can go from three seconds, customizable all the way to a maximum of 20. But you have this other option right here. If you turn it on, the screen will be on for five minutes. You can turn it off or on any time. Now from settings, you will be able to adjust the vibration. We had uh, three different settings right here. Crown vibrate is where if you don't want that every time you turn the crown, the smartwatch give you that vibration feedback, just turn it off. But if you like it, just keep it on. Sound and vibration, you will be able to control how do you want to receive your calls, for example, the volume of the ringtone, if you want it or not. Choose the menu style from here, add a password to protect your information, turn on or off the do not disturb mode, turn on the sedentary reminder, battery save. Now this feature right here, it will be really important in my opinion because the bezel is very sensitive, so if you're having a problem that is uh, switching watch faces by itself, just uh, turn on this feature right here. And now if we go back, if the bezel moves by accident, the dial is locked. It won't change. You can set up the time uh, manually. If you want the screen bright up when you receive a notification, turn it on or off. Now this feature right here, cover hand, is supposed to be on right now, but be honest with you, I don't see this feature is working at all. Now on our wrist, this is how it will look. Let me switch the watch face. I already turned off the dial lock. Let me turn off the island real quick. Now in case of a notification, it will bright up the screen and show you the content. And now in case of a call, it comes with ringtone, like I said, it shows you the contact name, you will be able to hang up or answer the call. From here, you can transfer the call to the smartphone, back to the watch, control the volume, mute the microphone, and finally hang up. Now, from the app, you will be able to change the watch face. The app will offer you many different ones, but to be honest with you, I don't see watch faces uh, with shortcuts but something cool is that you can upload your own picture not only that but you can choose between a digital clock and as you see change the color but what i want to show you is this the clock dial it has many different styles where to choose from and not only that but you can even chain on the outside look that one looks real cool so it offer you a lot of very cool styles. Another cool thing is that you can change the logo by the time you turn it off or on, you can uh, upload a picture to show it on screen. And of course you can add your alarms, uh, automatic heart rate detection and some other settings. And well, the friends, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think about this uh, JS Watch 6 Max Classic. Please take care and I'll see you in the next one.